Hey guys, this is Matt Kids in Alarm. This is going to be a um a four or five minute video, I hope. Um if it's not, um don't correct me. Um on what exactly PHP is. Now I think we did a brief video on this before, but um I just want to um um explain this to you guys and John, the other guy in Matt Kids in Alarm, doesn't seem to exactly understand it either. So um I hope you all understand PHP after watching this video. Now, first of all, um, if you own a website, like um, we own MacKidsOnTheOne.com, and you pay extra for PHP support, that means that, that that website is PHP compatible. So if you make your HTML files .php, the website will still work. But you might have to fix some of your links, but um, the website will still work. Now, PHP um, is almost nothing like CSS. It's not like HTML in any way, really. PHP um, has nothing to do with um, um, the design of the website. Um, what, what what happens on your browser when you go to a PHP file is um, the PHP file just sends you HTML, and all you're seeing in your browser is HTML, even though um, the PHP file ran its stuff. Um, so let me just explain this. If you, on a website, on your browser, go to a PHP file making your request for a PHP file on the web server. The web server then executes the PHP file before it sent you the um, actual file. It executes the PHP file. The PHP file returns HTML code and then the server sends you the HTML code. So basically when it's just an HTML file, your computer and you go to like google.com, which is HTML, it sends a request to the server. Then the server finds that file, reads it, and sends you the contents of that file. And then your browser reads that, those contents of that file and displays the web page that is generated from those contents of that file. Um, with PHP, your browser never actually gets sent the PHP file from the server. The server sends it HTML that a PHP program returns. So, um... Basically, this is kind of complicated. PHP, um, a PHP file, let me just show you in Taco HTML edit. This is an HTML file right here. And right now, if I save this as .html, your browser would see all this. Say PHP is going to be right here. Um, if you write question mark PHP and then close from this point to this point. If you just leave this right here, their browser will not see this part. This PHP and then the question mark thing. So, um, if right here I said echo hi in my PHP file, then upload it to my server so that way if they go to um, say macadzone1.com slash and then the name of this PHP file, they wouldn't see this part they all they would see would be high this is what they'd see this PHP code would make them see the word high so PHP functions anything the PHP does runs on the server then the server decides what to do with it whether to send it to your browser or whatever that's if it's configured for PHP so basically um, you cannot view PHP source code on a server um, no matter what, unless they have some funky permissions thing set up, pretty much, if they're configured to always read PHP files, execute them, and, set, and then send you. So, I could have 500 lines of PHP code that deletes files on the server, makes files, changes passwords, does all this stuff, but I could just have this nothing return except for the word hi, and all your browser would see would be the word hi. It wouldn't see anything else. Which is why PHP, like, JavaScript and HTML, the features of those are built into your browser because your browser is what handles the HTML file. But PHP functions are handled by the server. So MacKidsOnTheOne.com is hosted by a computer somewhere. It's a computer somewhere that's hosting it. And that computer has all the PHP stuff built into it. Not your computer. Your computer has no control over what the PHP does. Um, which is... Um, an interesting thing. So basically, 
That's why YouTube.com, you can read through all their source code you want, but you can't um, basically figure out where the file that they store all the passwords is, or all the hashed passwords that they probably hash, which would be secure. Um, so basically, um, if you take a look at this PDF I made, um, I'll just open it up. It's kind of simple. This is the diagram, of course. PHP, this is just a short explanation. Exclamation, uh, explanation. Okay. File reading, basically, PHP can read files and return them to you in several ways. So our website, I, I will just tell you this before I read through these. Um, our website, let me just go to it. Okay. We built this in PHP. So you'll notice that this will say this in the HTML code when you view the source. It'll just be the code for this if you haven't logged in. But if you have logged in, I'll just log in as MacKids101. If you're logged in, it'll say this in the HTML code. That's because we made it with PHP. Another cool thing I'll point out that you can only do with PHP and ASP and stuff that's not HTML, you might be able to do this with style sheets as well, but this is useful, is that this, this bar on the side is a separate file this bar on the right is a separate file. So that way, we can have one file that's all the advertisements for all the pages, then the PHP script, instead of echoing all the code for this, it reads the file and then spits out the contents of the file so you get the contents of the file in, in your web browser. Same thing goes for this right thing, except we have multiple ones for the different pages there. And I'll just prove this to you by going to macadonalons.com slash ads with two M at D's dot htm and this is actually the advertisements bar of course this isn't hooked up with a style sheet so it doesn't look quite as good as the other one did um, but that's that's the code so um, PHP basically I, I've showed you it's um, it's it runs on the server and you don't have any power over what it does from your computer without some FTP password or anything like that so you can't view our PHP source code it's just impossible unless we go open source um, which is why um, PHP like I said is used for YouTube and and secure stuff like that also ASP is something like PS PHP except Microsoft had something to do with it so I don't like ASP um, so basically um, here here's a few things that I'm gonna try to answer can PHP read my files this means um, on your own physical computer, when you go to a website that has some PHP code on it or a PHP file and it returns HTML, can, can PHP read your files? No. PHP is never physically on your computer, so the PHP code has never ever been on your computer, so there's no way it can touch your computer in any way. It can read the files on the server, like it can read the index file on our website, but it can't read your files. Okay. Why does a PHP page sometimes take some, so long to load? Um, while a PHP script runs on the server, your browser will say loading. And um, your browser has no idea when it will be done loading because you don't know when the PHP thing will be done executing. Um, so if I have a PHP script that just waits 10 seconds, then gives you a web page, it will take 10 seconds to load. Can PHP get my request information? This means like if you go to... Um, MacHeads101.com, not only are you sending um, a request for the index page, it can. Um, you're also sending the packet that has your remote IP address, your outgoing port number, your the browser that you use. Well, PHP can see a lot of information about your request, like your browser you use, your remote IP, and outgoing port number. Um, we actually, I actually have a good example of this on my website. Um, and you can get it on MacKids on One's website as well. It's MacKids on One dot com slash pages slash info dot php. And um, this tells you some information like your remote IP address, the browser that it can suck out of it about your um, the information it can suck out of your request for your browser, and the outgoing board number, which should change pretty much every time. So it can um tell what browser you use, and that's actually good because our website doesn't work on Internet Explorer so we're going to soon be making it so if you go to MacKidsInOne.com in Internet Explorer it'll ask you if you're sure you want to go and it might not look the best 
So, um, that's, that's something about PHP. Can I see someone else's PHP source code? No. PHP is file stored on the server. You can't read the file without FTP, SSH, or some other weird permission set on the PHP file. Um, there are also other ways to read this if they've set up some magic thing. Um, when you try to download the PHP file through whatever program you use to download stuff, it'll download the result of the PHP file. Um, so there's no real way to read our PHP source code. Okay, so thank you, and um, have a nice day. So that is PHP for you. Um, so I hope you really understand PHP a little bit better now. Um, so um, thank you for watching MacHeads101. Subscribe and goodbye.